officers in the army, and I never at one time had to say, General, you I'll tell you what to do. I'll tell you what to do, yeah? No, bro, I'll tell you what to do. Let me speak to him and none of you come. Just me and him. Khalas, that sounds like a deal. That sounds like a deal. He's new. He's new. I want to speak to you, yeah? Can, I, can you make an agreement, bro? Let me and him come and none of you come. None of you come. Why you shake? Yeah. You understand? He needs a supervision. That's it. Don't worry about anything. What weapon shakes? Right? So, respectfully. Right? I don't know what's your name. But I he needs a supervision. So, therefore, he would need help from yes. this gentleman. He needs so much supervision. You want to hear it? That's right. To check it out. <laughs> yeah, I understand the tricks. Can anybody that help you? I'm trying to, like, yeah, <laughs> slip ups. No, get you and me. Say something in an you interview. and me. Okay. Well, I'm imitating you. Brother, I'm imitating um, you. Brother, shall we go and talk? <laughs> shall we go, shall we go yeah, and talk? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I'm going to yeah. say to you, right, bro? Uh, what they, what, what what they want to do is they want to isolate you. Me and you can talk, you, and I will have none of these lot come. Because just me and you. See no, you. he will have supervision. He will have supervision. No. That's right. all. Shy, and, 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 and my advice to you, brother, as, as one Christian to another, right? You're obviously a very gentle soul. This place is not a good place for gentle souls. I'm, I'm, I've seen stuff online. I know that. Yeah. Right, good. So the other thing is, notice, notice how they were they were hoping just to have you surrounded by Muslims. Yeah. Yeah. They Don't wanted worry, to have you surrounded. Ready. Yeah. When you're ready, I'm here. Yeah. Notice yeah. the way they we were trying to placate you. Like, Don't worry. Because talk. you were willing to go along why? with some why of their argument and passively please. receive their question. argument, they were like, "Oh, you're an you're an intelligent guy, right?" Even the use of physical touch is a way of manipulating because what it does is it breaks up your chain of thought and it asserts authority. Yeah, so they do that as a way of manipulating. They isolate people as a way of manipulating. And they're looking for brothers like you. They're looking for brothers like you who who are young in the faith, don't know apologetics. And I'm not trying to I didn't come here to try so what was it that brought you here? I came a month ago and I like I when I came to I came, I went to church this morning and I saw you speak maybe a month or two back. Yeah. And I brought my brother and I like listening to it. Yeah. And I just find it I find it interesting. Yeah. And then I got chatting to some guys and then obviously it just yeah. goes up. But I've watched Speaker's Corner stuff online, I know what the set out of it is. Yeah. I know what it is. I know it's picking out things to trick one another. And I'm not polished in, as you said, apologetic. Yeah. And I'm not going to try to be, but I've got a faith. Um, but I like coming here and like listening to various ways that maybe our kid was at school to defend yeah. or something. Yeah. So I do like learning apologetics, but I'm not trying to, as I said, a lot of it is like, let me say this, so that I can, a lot of the language is, he can only answer in one of two ways, which are the way the answers will be wrong. So yeah. I understand, I understand the civil, civil setting. But I, 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 your name again, sorry? Sammy. Sammy. I, I go by the name Bob here. Yes. Right. I, I know. I've seen you. Okay. Okay. Good. My 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 point here is, bro, that these Dawagandists, like, people do lose their soul here. Christians lose their soul here. They lose their salvation in this place. Right. And they lose their salvation if they come to this place with naivete and with uh, an unguarded heart. Uh, you know, uh, and if they come here with needs, like they come here with emotional needs that are not being met in other places, okay? It's, this place is, uh, and I, I, I try to get Christians to recognize this, this place is not a place for entertainment, right? It, it, it's a place where a cultural battle is being fought, and it's being fought on these cameras, right? And, and, and what they're looking for, uh, and you fit their profile, Right? They're looking for young Christians, impressionable Christians, right? And and they're looking for Christians that can't argue back. Right? Now you now you know, you saw, all I did is say, if you need my help, 
I'm here, and he <laughs> himself, literally <laughs> himself, and, and has now run away from the debate because he knows that with me next to you, he's not going to be able to dominate you in a conversation. He's not going to be able to pull the emotional tricks that he was trying to pull on you when he was saying things like, I can see that you're a sincere, intelligent person. He's just stroking your ego so that you lower your guard. You know? So my, my, I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to win an argument. I understand if it goes on cameras, it can be used in a manipulative way yeah. to deceive people. But also, if they're just talking at you for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, eventually, unless you've got a strong mind, eventually your mind just switches from active to passive, and you just become a passive receiver, right? It's again, it's another manipulative tactic that's used here in the park, right? Now, you're your own man, Sammy and obviously you've got to make your own decisions about what you do. I just came and stood next to you to offer you some support. As you can see, they panicked at the moment that I arrived, right? I can't tell you what to do, I can't control you, but if I could give you some advice, it's this. One, right, like, I don't know if you want this advice, but I'm gonna give it to you anyway. You can obviously just ignore it if you want to. One, is get connected to Christians like me, who know how these guys work and manipulate. Two, don't get yourself isolated amongst them. I like emotionally isolated amongst them. You know, if you're not deeply connected to other Christians and to your own family, here's not the place to look for fellowship. Right? Right, right, okay. So another reason why you need to get deeply connected to the community. Two, if you, you, you've said to me that you've come here and you have some doubts, Right. Well, yeah. Right. If you're if you're coming here with doubts and fear and, and, and worries, this is not a great place. And talking to these guys isn't the best place to try and figure out those doubts. When I said um, doubts, I didn't mean. When when you said. Oh, By the way, are you bleeding? Yeah, just the end of my finger. So. What happened? Uh, I don't know. I think I was just picking my finger. It's All not right. bad. It's just a little style you probably put, plucked what out. I, what I meant was, I, when you asked me, am I a Christian? Yeah. What I meant is, I don't have full assurance of salvation. You what, sorry? I don't have full assurance of salvation. Okay. But I believe in Christianity. That yeah. sounds weird. But I believe in the Christian faith. I believe in grace over works. Yeah. But I don't, I, I don't have... Full assurance of salvation. Okay. So it's more of a. Do you want to talk about that a bit away from the shouting people? Should we just go and stand over there a little? Guys, we're going to move over there a bit.